Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Also, if you are new, welcome. I'm starting this video off a bit differently than I normally do, but I figured this was a really important video for you guys because one question I get all the time is about my cleaning supplies. Um, if it's tools, products, whatnot, what's the best, what I recommend, all of these things. So I wanted to make a video specifically for you to go over my favorites and um, what I prefer because I try a lot of different things. Uh, so it can get confusing that you see me use one cleaner one week and another cleaner the other week and it's because I'm constantly trying new products. Um, so in today's video, we are going over what I personally grab for the most, what I think is the most important. We are starting at Lowe's because I am out of a couple of my favorites. So I've got my little helper back there. You can say hi. Hi. <laughs> and I'm going to go shopping first and then I'm gonna, we're going to go home and go over all the different things. Um, so Christmas tree and Santa. Yeah. I'm gonna start with the like most common cleaner and it's gonna be a multi-purpose cleaner. Um, first of all, this bottle is from Grove Collaborative. I got it like years and years ago, but I love it because of the silicone base and the glass bottle and I can just refill it. So I have a couple of these for my different all-purpose cleaners. Um, but when it comes to all-purpose cleaners, I love the Pine Sol and Thieves Cleaner. If you've been with my channel for a while, you hear me talk about those all the time. Um, and I just kind of go back and forth to change it up. Uh, currently in here is Pine Sol. Um, but when this is empty, I will fill it with these cleaner to change it out. Those are the two that I think clean really well and the smell of them are amazing. The Pine Sol, if you are more budget conscious, is probably the best option. You get a massive container for not a lot of money. Um, and it's a concentrate, so you just put a little bit of it into here and fill it with hot water. Now, when it comes to my cloths, I get all of these cloths just, they're just cheap microfiber cloths. I don't spend a ton of money on them, um, either on Amazon if they're on sale, but most of the time I'm going to the automotive section in um, the hardware store and buying like a pack of 50 of them. The only thing I do recommend is getting yourself a glass cleaning cloth. You guys see me using this one all the time and I'll talk more about it later, but most of my cloths are just cheap microfiber cloths, nothing fancy like Norwex or any of those other ones, just cheap microfiber cloths. Taking the shot, but missing out on the cut. I think she knows that she drives so crazy when she's looking like that. The way she's moving makes her want it so bad. It's the attention that we wish that we had. Yeah, All right, since I have already talked about this cloth a little bit, I want to talk about my favorite glass cleaner, which is Spray Away. By far, my favorite glass cleaner but everyone's always asking how I clean the mirrors without any streaks. And this cloth makes the biggest difference. Now, I use two cloths when I'm doing it. I'll use my microfiber cloth to start, 
and then I move on to this because you know especially if you have little ones bathroom mirrors or sliding glass doors or anything like that get really dirty to me this is more of a polishing cloth um, where the microfiber cloth will scrub off the fingerprints and the toothpaste and the dog drool because we have dogs as well all those other things I don't feel like this does the same scrubbing it that a microfiber cloth will so I will use two cloths when cleaning any of my glass surfaces show me life show me love make it change time is up we can wait for better days but the days won't come show me life show me love show me life show me love make it change time is up we can wait for better days but the days won't come show me life Show me love, this is how we got. Show me life, show me love. All right, since we are already on the subject of glass cleaners, I'm gonna talk about my electric squeegee and I'm not gonna try and pronounce the name of it. But this is what it is. Um, I love this thing when it comes to my shower doors or my big sliding glass doors, especially my sliding glass doors. Uh, the kids are really good at not using the handle and just using their hands. Uh, the dogs, there's just a lot of stuff that builds up on it. The ones that go all the way to the outside can get um, just build up of dust and dirt and hard water spots, all of those different things. This makes it where I can use um, my Dawn dish soap and vinegar to give it a really good scrub and then use this and it comes streak free, super simple, super easy. I also like this because I am shorter. Um, this allows me without having a step stool to reach all the way up and pull it down. Just that little bit of extra reach from where my hand is to where this is makes a big difference. This one did come with the little spray and squee, um, not squeegee, but like sponge. And it works really well. I've used it enough. Um, but this is main thing that I absolutely love using, like I said, sliding glass doors, shower doors, windows, things like that. I really, really enjoy this. Briefly, over in the last one is my Dawn Power Wash. This thing is amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, I use it for daily cleanouts of my sink. You can see, like I said, glass doors, if they're really, really bad. This and vinegar is like the key. Um, but I just recently started making my own. Um, and I did this, one, I had someone send me a recipe of how she makes it. But also, I just really liked this spray bottle. I already had it on hand because when I bought this, I bought it for our um, Muscovy eggs and it came in a two bag, a white one and a black one. And I wasn't using this one. And I saw Amanda from This Crazy Life showing her using this exact bottle. And I'm like, I have that, I might as well use it. But since this is almost gone, I figured I would quickly show you how I make my DIY version of the Dawn Power Wash. However, I still often will use this for really bad areas because I don't know what their secret ingredient is, but when it comes to um, soap scum or hard water stains, this and vinegar is right, the best. To put this together is pretty easy. Just open it up. I put the Dawn Platinum in here. It's probably about a tablespoon. I have some rubbing alcohol. There it goes, focus for you guys. 
Um, I don't know how much I use of this. I think I use probably about a fourth of a cup, but I eyeball everything. And I just fill the rest with water. Let it settle for a second. And this is what I've been keeping around my sink. Looks pretty and it works really well for cleaning the dishes. Goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we pull around. Pull it all, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots. Thinking it will not keep me company downtown. Before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby. Don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wait. So we have moved into the bathroom because there are a couple of items that I think are a essential must have for bathroom cleaning. Um, the first one, we're gonna start with toilet bowl cleaner. Yes, I have not jumped on the bandwagon of the fancy wand disposable toilet bowl cleaner. I still like the traditional brush and cleaner. Um, there's just sometimes that there are things that those throwaways just aren't gonna clean well. So this I actually learned from one of you guys is the Zep Acidic Toilet Bowl Cleaner. This is by far my favorite toilet bowl cleaner. I also do like the Clorox bleach one, but when I got recommended this one, I absolutely love it. It is amazing. Um, it works, it's really thick, so I like how it clings to the bowl, um, but then with any hard water rings or calcium buildup or anything like that. I've had some really hard tufted on areas that I didn't have to worry about getting a pumice stone or anything like that to clean it up. This really took care of it. The next two things I'm going to go over are going to be a tool and a product because they work great together. When it comes to cleaning your shower, the Clorox um, cleaning and bleach is amazing. The biggest thing I say about it, and this is gonna be most cleaners and I say this all the time, is let it do its work. When you clean your bathroom, spray this all over your shower and then clean the rest of your bathroom and then go back to it. Don't spray it and scrub it. It's not going to work as well. So definitely give it its time to work and it will do amazing. The next one you guys have seen on my channel recently is this scrub wand. This is amazing for bathtubs, showers, doors, baseboards, pretty much anything. Um, the wand is really nice because it saves your back and everything so much. Or if you're a short queen like me, it allows you to reach areas you normally couldn't reach. So these two products are absolutely amazing when it comes to shower and bathtubs, but of course you could use them other places as well. Oh, <laughs> 
another two-part cleaning product, which I love, is the Zep Grout Cleaner. This thing is amazing. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you have not tried it, it's a little more pricey. Like most bottles you're looking at four to five dollars. This is a $10 cleaner, but it works really, really well. Um, and to go with that, my other favorite little cleaning brush is the Rubbermaid. This comes with different heads on it, but basically it's an electric toothbrush to help clean those crevices and areas that are a little bit harder to get at. Um, but with it being powered, it also saves you a lot of that elbow grease. Love this guy. This is a bit of an obsession. This is, grout. this is the dirtiest grout in my house because this is where our dog Bailey likes to sleep. Um, he is a St. Bernard. So between the dirt and grime on his fur and paws and then the slobber, it gets really dark. Um, so I'm gonna wipe it down real quick just with some wipes. Um, kind of show how like the tile can get really clean. So a traditional mop would get all of this off the tile and stuff, the fur, the dirt, all that stuff. But when it comes to the grout, it literally does nothing. So that is when this cleaner comes in handy. I've been alone for what seems like forever. Hold it together, but I'm losing my grip. I need someone who can make me feel better. Wrapping up in a sweater, keep popping with the kids. Then suddenly you appear inside my head everywhere. Where did you come from? I wonder. Next product is another cleaning tool. I think this is like a absolute must have in every single person's home is a wet dry vacuum. I've tried multiple on my channel and honestly I like a lot of them. Like they all pretty much do the same thing. There are some features that I like more than others, uh, but go with what fits your budget because from what I've seen, they work really, really well. This one is the Eureka. Really like this one. It works really, really well with all the dog hair in the house. It got, ha, comes with a cleaning solution that I really enjoy. But with having pets, having kids, most of my house is this laminate flooring. It's a lot to have to vacuum and then mop and then do all of that. And on the daily, we're having someone spilled their juice or their yogurt or the dog had an accident or something is happening. And these come in super handy. 100% is worth the investment. I would invest in one of these before a robot vacuum. And you guys know how much I love my robot vacuum. <laughs>
the Swiffer Duster with the extendable wand. This is great for daily um, dusting. Once again, we have animals in our house, so this may not apply to everyone, but for us, dusting has to be done every single day because even once a month, I'm gonna, or not once a month, but once a week, I'm gonna end up with a massive layer of dust over everything between the dogs, pollen, everything going on. So to me, a Swifter Duster is a must in my house. Car, but we hit the road. Doesn't matter where we go and destination or no. I don't care where the motor stops. Cause when I want it, then I want it. Yeah, I want it. Oh, I want it. Let's go. Look around. Where's the people at? I want a taste of the good life. Hit me with it. If you have wood furniture in your house this is my absolute favorite wood cleaner it cleans really good it leaves a very pretty shine and it smells divine the method wood for good if you haven't tried it try it. it is so good doesn't leave that greasy film that some wood cleaners leave um, and like I said, it smells amazing. I think that is probably the biggest reason I like it the most is the smell of it. Um, I'm someone that when it comes to cleaning products, the way it smells matters a lot to me. I want something that isn't so overpowering, it's gonna give me a headache, but a smell that's going to linger because if I've spent hours cleaning, I want my house to smell clean. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is they get older, older So let us dance this night away Not a thing, To the groove and the light the flickers we get lost in the crowd it's getting thicker so this next product i've seen people talk about it and most people love it there's been a couple people that didn't have a great experience and i think it's because they hadn't used it correctly and that is the full x um instant carpet spot remover i love this stuff and have been using it for years um but there are a couple things if it's a fresh stain like spilled red wine you want to spray this and then use a carpet extractor which give me a second hi <laughs> my hoover um to extract to extract you really can't expect this to pull out an entire glass of red wine out of your carpeting so use your extractor pull out as much as possible spray it let it sit <laughs> That is the biggest thing is let it sit. It doesn't need to sit like crazy long, but you have to let it sit. And then use the extractor again to pull it out. Um, if you're dealing with smaller spots, like the kids dropped a Oreo on the floor, or a piece of chocolate on the floor, and there's just a little spot there, you can just spray this and dab it and it'll come out. Um, but there are tricks to it. If you have a stain that's been there for a long time, spray it let it sit for a while and then use it so that is going to be my tips for anyone that's like i tried it i didn't love it it didn't work like they showed on other videos as it is still dependent of what the stain is um but a whole glass of red wine is not going to come out just by spraying it with this you're going to want to extract spray let sit and then extract again because you still have all that that's soaked into it
All right, so these next couple of items I am showing you together because in my personal opinion, they work better together. That first one is the Zep Foaming Wall Cleaner. This stuff works amazing. You guys know often I will um, just use my old cedar mop with some pine salt in it to do a quick clean of my walls. But there are certain walls in the house that need a deeper clean than that. Uh, usually the walls that are right next to my kids' beds because my kids for some reason think when they're laying in bed their feet belong on the floors, not floors, walls. Um, and the other places is like hallways where they like to run their hands through it, things like that. Um, and sometimes you just need a better cleaner and that's where this comes in. The next one is going to be my wall cleaning brush. This just makes life so much easier when you're cleaning your walls because it is extendable. Um, just like when I use my spin mop, having the handle makes a really big difference. This actually comes with two heads. This is the scrubber, but it also has a dusting head. And then the third is not a magic eraser. Do not waste your money on magic erasers. They're so expensive. Go on Amazon, look up a melamine sponge, and it's the exact same thing as a magic eraser for far, far less money. I buy these in huge packs of like 50 for 10, $20, depending on the time of year. So these three though, work amazing together. This is the door to our garage. So it is the dirtiest door in the house. Don't judge me. But it's bad. Next item I love, but is a little bit more controversial. Some people don't like it because it is very fumey and can be toxic. Um, but when you're looking for a hardcore get it done cleaner, this is what you go to. Easy off, heavy duty. Not the fume free, none of that. Get the original, it works amazing. I use this on my stovetop in my oven. Um, if you have a ceramic 
tub that has a stain that won't come out, this will work for that. It works other areas than just in your kitchen, um, on your grill, but it is a lot heavier of a product. It stinks, it really does. Um, but once again, if you use this correctly, it works amazing. If you ever have those burnt on, uh, making spaghetti, water boils over and you have a glass stove, you know how bad and hard it can get to get those burns off. Spray this on, leave it for 10, 20, 30 minutes. Normally what I'll do is I'll spray it, clean the rest of the kitchen and come back to it. And then it just wipes away. This is a must in my house. There's just times where you need the big dogs and not some toxic, free, eco-friendly, whatever. Sometimes you need this guy. Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's here Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up so this next item is another item that i love using all over the house mainly the kitchen and bathrooms but can be used all over barkeepers friends the soft cleanse this is great for your sink, your stove, um, polishing any of the stainless or chrome in your house, literally all over your house. Absolutely love this stuff. I go through it a lot. The next thing I'm going to talk about are robot vacuums since I get asked about them a ton. And I think when it comes to what's on the market, I have the two best depending on what your needs are. 
Um, and I say that because they're both great in two very different ways, which is why I kept both of them. Normally, I will end up gifting one to family because I don't need a million stick vacuums and a million this and a million that. Um, but these two are both great in very specific ways. Um, so the first my one. My Robo Rock. This Robo Rock is awesome because it does have the mopping feature, but the biggest thing is it has a self emptying dustbin. So for me, with big dogs that shed a lot, having that self emptying dustbin is huge. Then I also have the Narwhal, which I absolutely love as well. It does not have a self emptying bin, which means I have to empty the dustbin regularly. However, the mopping system has a self clean and water tank and it mops more like a traditional mop. It comes, it cleans the pads, it goes and mops. And once the pads are dirty, it comes back, cleans the pads and goes and mop. So instead of just sliding stuff around, it actually does a more traditional mopping setup. This is something that I would highly, highly recommend if you have a lot of hardwoods in your house and maybe the pet hair is not as big of a deal for you or you don't mind emptying it regularly. I love the mopping feature on this. It's been a game changer in our house, but because of the dogs, I literally empty it every single use, sometimes twice, um, where the Robo Rock allows me to not have to empty it except for once a month when I take the, the larger thing I'm going to talk out. about is my carpet shampooers. Now, I have realistically like one main rug in this house, otherwise my other rugs are indoor outdoor rugs and um, washable rugs. But my rug in the family room is a large rug that needs to be shampooed regularly. So I don't have the massive carpet shampooer that I used to have at our old house when we had a lot more carpets. But this one is great and it is under $100. Right from here Walmart. is the Bissell. Um, it's the Power Force Power Brush Pet. And it's little but it is mighty and does the job with these guys. <laughs> so, like I said, I got this at Walmart. It was under $100, and considering I only have this one rug, it works great. I already showed you this before, but I'm gonna show it to you again. Don't mind, I was using it earlier and haven't completely cleaned it out yet. I'll get to that. Um, but this is the Hoover, and this is a spot cleaner. This is awesome for furniture or just quick spot cleanups. This to me is also a must in your house if you sure have by now you guys have all heard about the um, spin mops. Yes, my favorite mop. Hands down, I've tried multiple. That one's my go-to 100%. I don't think you need to see it. I think you know what the um, spin mops look like, but if you're looking for a mop, Yes, I recommend the spin mops now, 100%. Now, when it comes to vacuums, Shark has been my go-to for many, many years. I feel like it works great with kids um, and pets and everything. And since being down here, we just have the cordless one, and I'll show you that one. I do love my Shark, as well as my Eureka. So here stick. is my Shark vacuum. When it's stored, it looks like this. Otherwise, I press this button and it pops up. That's a little difficult to do one-handed. I love this stick vacuum. It has the dual rollers, but a big thing I like about it, and if you watch my channel, you see this, is when I press this button, I can flex this downwards. Once again, doing this one-handed is difficult. So, if I'm trying to get under furniture, this now can go completely flat to get under it. And then when I need it back up, I do that. It turns right back into a regular stick vacuum. And I have my Eureka Rapid Clean Pro. This is super, super lightweight. If you don't have a lot of floors to clean um, and you need something lightweight, this is amazing. I often use this on the furniture in the dog room because it is so lightweight, yet still extremely well, I really powerful. hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a lot different than what I normally do on my channel, but lately I have been getting so many questions about 
everything I showed you today that I wanted to do a video. That way, if you are questioning anything, you can come back to this video and check it out. See what my favorites are, what I'm using, and all of that. If you guys have questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, I feel like I could do another one of these videos because there's more products that I didn't show you, uh, such as like my steamer and stuff that I could probably add into another video. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And let me know in the comments if you want to see a part two um, and how you like this video. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.